and driving us over on the golf cart. We have a pull through. We have a pull through. Ooh, how elegant. This weekend is the strawberry, yearly strawberry festival here in town. So we may have to do something. Oh, like that's that. cool. Yeah, look, they gave me this little booklet. The Belleville National Strawberry Festival. Cool. I know. Cool. Oh, we just pulled into Wayne County Fairgrounds the campground and it's less of a campground and more of a just a place to park i mean some sites have picnic tables but ours don't i i don't think anything here does water and electric though so that's good these sites have sewer but those are more expensive we don't need sewer so decided not to pay for that but we're going to be here for a couple days see detroit things like that on our way up to the up of michigan and we're gonna be in Michigan for at least, what, two months or one we're month? We're here till August. We don't get to the UP until middle of July. So we're here, we're in Michigan for the long haul. For the long haul? So for the next month, we'll be in, I don't know what you call this area of Michigan. The Detroit area? No, because we'll leave Detroit in a week. Ann Arbor area? <laughs> no. Lower, low, low, low state. <laughs> low, low, low state. What is it called? I know there's like the mitten. Maybe it's the like hand part of the mitten. I don't know what you call it. Oh, the, the, the thumb. It's the thumb. No, it's like the whole hand. We're gonna be it's like, the ham, it's the palm. Like from here to here to here to here to here to so, here. All in this so month. it's the palm of Michigan. Yeah, the palm of Michigan. Oh boy, that went off really well. So you may have seen this when we were driving here. This is one of our new cool products that we were sent to test. And since we've been using them for a while now, I thought we'd give a little bit of a review. This is a Lumini, or Lum Lumi silicone bag. But this is not just any silicone bag. As you can see, it's a very thick silicone. And you can actually seal it airtight with this cool little metal piece. And then when you open it, it's still sealed. There's little holes here, but it's still sealed because of these little dimples. And all you have to do is go like that. Now you've opened the bag. Now here's where this com becomes cool. This is actually a bowl as well. So you then just fold the top of this over and it will stay open. And if you fold it over far enough, you can actually hook things into these little extra dimples and get things to stay open. But it stays really well just like this. So these are great for camping. You can eat cereal out of these. You can microwave in these. You can bake in these. Have not tried either of those things but we are using them for pistachios because pistachios in a plastic bag, it seems like I'm replacing the plastic bag like every week because they're heavy and they have sharp edges, but this is working great. So we got that, another one of those. They're called unplastic bowls. So you can see here's another one by Lumni. And this is a better example of how you can see, you can actually pull this over and have it hook into these little dimples for different size bowls. So those are two bowls. They also have just simple bags. So this is just a simple Lumni bag. It seals the same way that I said before. So you just go ahead and put these little dimples away like this. this it's still not airtight at this point, but you can fold it over, hook it in there, and now it's like a perfect little sandwich bag. So if you're interested in these products, we're still testing them out, but so far we're loving them and they're cutting back on our plastic waste, which we hate having, as you guys know. Um, I'll put a link in the description below about where you can find out more about them. And thank you, Lumi, for sending them to us because they're really fun. And look at the colors. I mean, doesn't that just make you happy? <laughs> yeah, as you can see, this campground accommodates all different kinds of rigs from the largest class A to the smallest pull behind. But Courtney just said that they do not allow tent camping, interestingly. And by the way, if you're one of those who utilize Planet Fitness, there's one less than a mile from the fairgrounds, which is super convenient. So I guess that's it. There's really not much to show, just a big grassy area with places to park. Not the most scenic place we've ever been in, but it'll do for location. a few days. Location, location, location. Location. It happens to be restaurant week here in the Ann Arbor area, so guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna do one of the things that we love doing the most, or at least I love doing the most, and Courtney just kind of tolerates, because she's the cooker. 
Restaurant week. It is restaurant week in Ann Arbor right now. Who knew? So I looked up all the menus. For those who don't know, restaurant week is when restaurants put on special menus, normally a three course meal for lunch or dinner for a set price. Um, and so I think we're gonna try a place that has a two people for $28 total three course meal, Mexican food in Ann Arbor. Naturally. And Whoop. okay, we're gonna go someplace first. So we'll take you there. We are checking out a gluten-free bakery. You got your stuff. I did. We have a berry bar, a cookie, and a cupcake. All gluten free, many of them vegan. It's very difficult for me to find homemade baked goods that are gluten free. So whenever I find them, we go and we try them. I have to have by that berry bar, I think. <laughs> After a quick stop at a local meadery just to do one tasting between the two of us, now we're heading to the Mexican restaurant for restaurant week menu. Because that's what we do. I'm excited. The mead was a little dry for my taste, but it, I think they do a dry I think mead she there, liked not it a better. sweet mead. Um, and I, I didn't I dislike it. Nice. it. I, I dislike nothing with booze, but <laughs> this would be a little bit lower on my list of. Yeah. <laughs> How was dinner? Dinner was good. Full, 28 bucks for both of us. Restaurant week, I like you. I know. I we managed like to come here, restaurant week in Ann Arbor, and the Strawberry Festival in Belleville, which we'll show you later. And we did not drink at all in there. Imagine that. Back home with puppies. I get the feeling this is kind of a boring video, so sorry up. About that, but this is like the calm before. I mean, there's there's lots going on in the next couple days, right? Yes. Tomorrow we are gonna go, I think, to the Ford Museum and check that out. We've been told that we need to go there, even though we're not museum people. We've been told that the Ford Museum is where you need to be, yeah. even if you're not museum people. Yeah. So in a strange way, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Yep. So we're gonna do that, and then my sister is coming out. We're gonna do some exploring with her. We'll see how much we feel of that. We have a financial meetup coming up uh, later in the week. So lots of little things. And we'll take you along to quite a few of them, I'm sure. That's right. But okay. for now... Oh, and the strawberry festival. But, oh yeah, the strawberry festival. I love strawberries, don't you? Yeah, everybody loves strawberries. But for now, we will say goodbye until next time. Say bye, Penny. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, She's wiggling. If you look at her, she's wiggling her butt. She's saying bye-bye. He's your wiggle butt. He's your wiggle butt. He's your wiggle butt. He's your wiggle butt.